Hey guys, this is Shia and today I'm talking about graphics cards. So basically you have two giant graphics company. One is Nvidia and one is AMD. So when you're getting to shop about graphics card, you get confused. What graphics card should I get? And then you try to Google, you try to YouTube and try to find some answers. And you end up with a lot of complicated explanations. Today I'm trying to make this simple as possible. First of all, I am not an expert in graphics cards but I know some basic knowledge and that's what I'm trying to share with you. So when you're going to shop a graphics card, first ask yourself what are you going to do with your graphics card. So most of us understand graphics card means only gaming. That's not true. So mainly graphics is used in gaming and editing video, making graphics works, graphics design and lots of this kind of stuff. If you are gaming definitely consider to go with AMD because they have more memory, they have higher interface than Nvidia with the same price point and you have options to overclock your graphics card in a huge number and also if you are going to get a new PC totally you are definitely should consider about AMD processor not with the Intel processor because AMD processor allows you to get more physical cores and gigahertz. So look at the some differences about First of all about some processors. If you have a hundred dollar budget for your processor, take a look. Here is Intel Core i3 with two physical cores and here is AMD with four physical cores. So you're getting double cores with the same price range. And with Intel Core i3 you are getting 3.5 GHz out of the box and with AMD you are getting 3.8 GHz out of the box. So let's just not talk about the processors, just talk about the graphics cards. So here the fact is in graphics card is same as processors. So here check two graphics card. Nvidia GTX 760 and AMD uh, R9 28X OC which means overclocking. This both graphics card has a similar price point but look at the specs. With Nvidia you are getting only 2 gig of memory and with AMD you are getting 3 gig of memory. And in clock speed with Nvidia you are getting uh, 1033 megahertz and with AMD you are getting 1000 megahertz but just some simple step you can get 11000 megahertz because it is OC which means overclocking edition but this is not all about the AMD cards you can boost and you can overclock your graphics card with a huge speed so my recommendation go for the AMD if you are going to get a graphics card for gaming because of the simple fact you are getting more things that will help you to gaming nvidia has 256 bit and amd has 384 bit memory interface so now you know the differences you know the clock speed overclocking and the things will help you to gaming is all inside the amd card but that really doesn't mean with a Nvidia card you can't game at all. You of course can, you of course can game with the high end settings but at the same price point you are getting some more things that will help you in gaming with AMD. So now talk about the second thing, graphics designing, photoshopping, Adobe Premiere Pro, CC, 3D rendering and things like that will definitely helps you Nvidia because they have CUDA cores. They have physics. You can also use physics in AMD installing some software, but in Nvidia, physics inside their chip, so they call it advanced physics. So, if you're a person, I mean, like me, who like to edit his videos in Adobe Premiere and things like that, and also play a game from time to time when you're boring, you are definitely going to get a Nvidia card because Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014 and Adobe After Effects, things like Adobe products has some features that only supports in CUDA and Nvidia has that CUDA, AMD doesn't have that. And also if you are looking for um, building a new PC and don't know why to go with AMD graphics and AMD processor or the uh, Intel graphics, you are definitely going to get Intel over the AMD because they have less error in their system and very good architecture but only for gaming AMD is your friend because they have great overclocking feature good memory 
a higher interface than the Nvidia with the same price range. And another thing, if you're going to get like me multiple display, two screen, three screen or more like that, you should consider about how many memory has in my graphics card or in your graphics card. So if you're, so if you're trying to run a two screen, you should must have a two gig of memory in your graphics card. If you're running a three screen and with a two gig of graphics card you will definitely see some lag and frame dropping when playing high-end games with high-end settings so it's better to have higher gigs memory in your graphics card to make multiple screens if you really want a lag free performance definitely go with the double the number of your screens so if you have a two screen go for four gig of graphics card if you want to set a three screen go for a 6 gig of graphics card so this was the basics i know about graphics cards for gaming and 3d video rendering with adobe pro with adobe premiere cc and things like that please put your comment below and suggestion also what you think about my thoughts share with your friends who might looking for advice or looking for some recommendation for which for which to get what to get how to get and how to set a good gaming PC or a PC for a workstation, video editing machine or things like that. I think this video is going to help because I have tried to explain this as simple as possible. And of course hit the thumbs up button. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to get more tech related videos. Please click here to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned, stay awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one.